So Eduardo, I've read a little bit about your history and you're from Union City in New Jersey. Yes. And you started out as a graffiti artist in your youth. Yep. What got you into that? I've always been into art, so uh, it was a, a way of, you know, doing art and still kind of being, you know, hanging out with people because uh -huh. it was it was a group thing, you know. Right. We uh, our, you know, we would get together as friends. We'd go, you know, tagging together. We would do pieces together. Now, are any of your friends from back then artists now today? No, nah, no. Uh, most of them are. I have one's a chef. The other ones. Uh, Still creative types? <laughs> yeah, no, actually, uh, a lot of them I lost touch with. He's yeah. the only one I really still yeah. know. And, and so, is that what made you get into the murals that you're doing now? Yes, okay. yeah. I mean, uh, Bigger yeah, and... I love scale. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I was doing gallery work for a long time, doing smaller pieces, but, uh, you know, scale's always been, you know, what mm -hmm. really attracted me, like, so a large wall just, you know, smacks you in the face. Like, there's no way of avoiding it. It just, you know, yeah. it's there. So it's calling for you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I noticed that you're using a lot of color now. Before, some of the work that I saw was a little darker. Um, what's what what inspires you at any given time of your life? Is it just the happenings or where you, where your head is at, at that time? I do a lot of portraits of people that I know. Uh, I do I do my daughter all the time. Um, in this show, I'm doing car. I used to collect classic cars. I love so. cars myself, so I was drawn to your work in the gallery downstairs because of that. So, and how old your daughter? Uh, she's uh, 11 now. 11. But I've, I've been painting her portrait ever since she was two. So, uh, like, I have her uh, throughout the years, kind of thing. Now, in your murals, you're using what kind of paint? It's like a spray paint. Yeah, it's all spray paint. Yeah. Now, when you do um, portraits and things like that, do you use spray paint as well? Yes. Or do you, okay, so you don't, that's pretty much your meaning, what you do. Well, I mean, some, I still do, uh, you know, more traditional artwork with acrylic and uh, oil paints. But uh, what I love to do is spray paint. Yeah. And what do you have coming up in the near future that you're wanting to get your hands into? Um, projects or? Yeah, I have uh, two projects that are coming up pretty soon. Uh, one is for uh, Delray Beach. I'm going to be doing a mural. And I believe it's like 40 feet by 20 feet. Wow. Are you collaborating with anyone on that? or are you just um, I'm not sure yet. Yeah. I mean, I collaborate with, I, with two other artists all the time. I just finished a project down in Hollandale Beach where the mural was uh, about 350 feet long and at its highest point it was 25 uh, feet tall. It was an on-ramp to the Hollandale Bridge that goes over the intercoastal. Who were the other artists? Uh, that was uh, Jay Belici and Paul Hughes. Oh, okay. Great. We'll have to check them out as well. Okay. Um, about two months ago, uh, I did a mural for the Walls Project. It's a project in Baton Rouge where uh, they're trying to just fill up the city with murals. And uh, the building I painted was six stories, so it's the tallest thing I've painted so far. Oh, that sounds great. You could see it either on my website or uh, on the walls. It's, it's actually the Walls Project. Oh, okay. And their website, too. Fantastic.